Hello everyone and thank you for joining me here. So, of course my name is Mr. Mocha Lover, but let's get right into it, talking about the mm, Western Front, I guess that's what we would call it, our Western Front, not this Western Front, which is not doing very well, but this Western Front. So, uh, you know, everything doesn't go according to plan, you know, sometimes you've got to call an audible and say, hey man... This isn't going so well. We have to readjust our plans. And you know what? I wanted to be slightly historical, so... You know, you do what you do. And it, this just makes for a more interesting gameplay, right? Exactly, you know? This isn't a disaster. This is exactly what we planned for. Losing 24 divisions was exactly what I planned for. Wow, that's a lot of mines. But, uh, you know... It, it helps. Because if you initially lose... 24 divisions in the war right around Hungary and Poland what was Poland that just means that you are fully justified in Just killing everyone who opposes you see exactly, you know you lose a lot then you're automatically justified to kill everyone Yeah, there you go. Never can monetize this video. Anyways. I hope you're having a great day. Uh, I could implement scorched earth tactics uh, Let's see in Belarusia, Ukraine Stalingrad caucus and Moscow I don't see an option for Poland, or Southern Poland, or anything like that, so I'm not going to go Scorched Earth just yet. If anything, I will probably go with someone here who... Better division recovery rate actually might not be bad. Army recovery rate plus 8%. I'll probably wait for Alexander. About this Savensky. However you say his name. You guys look a little tired and injured. Push him out back over the river. So that we can defend pretty well. You know, we're going to lose a little bit of territory. That's okay, because the Germans actually are just, probably in my opinion, kind of overpowered in 1.7, or really 1.6 for, you know, Hoi 4. So if we lose a little bit of territory, happens. Lose a couple divisions, happens. Get pushed out of the Romania, happens. You know, just a lot of happening things. So, hope you guys, like I said, having a great day. I hope Spain doesn't fall too soon, because I do want... The Germans to rack up a ton of deaths. So we've suffered, and all in all so far, about a third of a million casualties. Now, for the Germans, we personally have inflicted over 600,000 on them. So, man for man, we're doing not bad. Especially after we just were encircled. And our losses mostly aren't actually from these battles. They're just from losing divisions when they get encircled. Anyways, we have Americans landed in Vladivostok. <clears throat> a pilot from America has landed in Vladivostok after performing an air raid on Japanese homeland soil. Local police has put the pilot under custody. And if we return the pilot to the U.S., this could worsen our relationship with Japan. How should we deal with this problem? Actually, I heard about this, uh, you know, a long time ago, but this actually did happen. It's kind of interesting to note that what, I forget exactly what the Russians did. Keep the pilot detained. Help return the pilot to the U.S. Hand the pilot over to, to Japan. Uh, no. I don't want to piss off the U.S. yet. Well, maybe I do, actually. But I kind of don't, since they are 49% communist. And less than 80% stability. Ooh, baby. I'll probably do the coup in the beginning of the next episode, just because I've already started and I don't want to restart this episode And if, if nothing goes right. So we'll probably coup them next time with FDR still in charge. But for now, I really don't care if I piss off Japan. I really, really don't, even though they're fighting the Allies as well. So they're a little preoccupied, so I'll return to the U.S. just to be a little bit nice. It won't be nice until the Nazis are defeated. Oops, I said the N-word again. Nazis, oh no. Let's see. Oh, are we... Are our allies attacking? Could we help? Maybe. Could you attack and win? That's a good question. No, you're not doing that. Ooh, Vasily. Chuika. Anything? No? Uh, someone did leave comments, like, my regarding... Uh, please stop. Regarding Iran, whether I should annex them or just leave them alone. Mmm, kind of in between. If I annex them, so be it. If I... Oh, we got my mill back. Nice. Oh, and we lost it. Not nice. Ah, excavation one. Good. So, if I annex them, I probably will annex them just because they're really ugly. So, I don't really feel one way. I mean, if I annex them, I annex them. If I don't, I don't. I really don't care. Uh, do we need field hospitals? Nah. Armor. We're getting better armor. We're actually making really good divisions. Land doctrine's going pretty well. 
1941. Tanks. We don't have any tanks in the field yet. Uh, let's see. Should I get small arms for more soft attacks so I can kill more people? Or go get more defense and entrenchment? Because this gives you hard attack, which is okay. It's not bad, but I like soft attack. And we'll be on the attack more often than defense, probably. Ah, let's get some more soft attack, because small arms firepower sounds like a fun thing to do. Hey, look, six more divisions. I didn't need them for the European front. Oh, Alexander Gorbatov falls ill. Very cool. Yes, this is not a disaster, my friends. This is not a disaster. This is a tactical way of playing as a Soviet Union. Yeah, very tactical. Very, very incredibly tactical. This is what I meant for us to happen, yeah. Uh, you know what? Give me four. I'll fill out some of these divisions first. Give me two and put six over here. Kirill? Ah, uh, yeah. Under Kirill, he can't lose, even though he lost, like, a bunch of guys already. Oh, there's one division guarding here. Oh, good. It's my motorized division. That's actually 40 width. 40 combat width, so that's not actually bad. Uh, Constantine, pretty good general, so that's why he can't lose there. Uh, nice. We actually took a piece of German soil, so how's that for a disaster? Exactly. Not a complete disaster. Awesome. Uh, hey, we pushed the Romanians back onto Romania, or into Romanian soil. Uh, let's see, they have no manpower still, which I actually really like, and that might make me a little greedy, because I would really like to smash smash the Romanians. Oh, one division here probably isn't great. Yeah. Okay, maintenance company's five, or level two is good. Yeah, don't worry about attacking right now. Just, just focus on defense, especially if you're attacking over a river. Oh, and we have... Something else here. 1941 air stuff sounds good. Fighters are okay. We could do, we don't have any carriers. Maritime bombers will be nice. We're doing both these, which is great. Engineering 1941 stuff. I could do ballistic computer, but nah. Could do experimental rockets, but nah. 214 days for advanced computing machine for a crap ton more research speed. Heck yeah. Nice. It looks like the German attacks have actually really stalled out. Or they're really just killing Spain off. They're probably just... Yeah, they're just killing Spain off right now. Alright, Germans. The Italians have actually lost quite a few. We've not killed that many Italians. Only 26, 27,000. Japan declared war on the Dutch East Indies. Good job. Hmm, anything really interesting here? No, we got enough manpower. Netherlands... Oh, boy. The Netherlands just joined the Allies. Well, then. Good luck holding on to that. Greece is barely holding on. And it looks like the Turks and her allies and the Bulgarians and all of them are still fighting over Istanbul. Interesting. This might divert some soldiers away from our front, which would be nice. And maybe we could reclaim some of our territory that was lost. Oh, look at this. These guys are really injured. Look at that tank division. Looks like a medium tank division or so. Ah, Heinz Guderian. That's going to be a no, 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 no. You don't do that. And once these guys are out of the battle, you're going to help attack. Ah, uh, very good. Push those tanks out without any anti-tank. I'm almost done with my cop here, too. Hmm. Ah, uh, very good. Wasn't really that warm at all. It was more like lukewarm or room temperature. But whatever. Hey, look. Some Republican Spanish subs. Zero capital ships. All right, so be it. So be it. So be it. How are our planes? Well... Regarding Eastern Poland, not very good. Everywhere else, pretty good. Despite me not really making any planes at all. Let's see, can we add any more? Yes, we can. Thank you very much. I hope this is actually recording, or at least recording my voice, because I don't want to end it up like yesterday, where nothing was really getting recorded. Looks like some of these divisions just are really not good. How are our divisions that are being produced. Well, we got some guys coming along. Some guys. Uh, looks like we might be able to take, do some damage. I love doing damage. Ah, very good. Casualty list. Germans not looking so good right now. <clears throat> Three, oh. You know what? Take one Mountaineer help out attack there. That might be enough. Good, they're attacking. Good, good, good. We get 0.57 political power a day. The Baltic Socialist Republic is pretty communist. 81%. We've got to crush all the democratic reformers. Very nice. They're attacking us again. 
but in most locations we seem to be doing well, maybe except for Suwalki. Suwalki. Yeah, you come over here. Oh, we were defeated. That's not good. Oh, they're definitely attacking. Oh, baby. Almost 900,000 casualties. Good job, Germans. Keep it up. Keep it up. Even though you are winning down here in Spain, kind of. Oh, Barcelona. They have some allies there to help out, too. Hmm. All right, so be it. So be it. How is, uh... J Honestly, this is a really thick Bulgaria. This is almost pleasant looking. Almost pleasant looking. Italy is Italy. The allies are doing okay. Japan is trying to break into... British Raj, but things are going okay. Japan's invading Australian lands, invading British Malayan lands. I wonder what the U.S. is up to. Hopefully that they don't lose Hawaii, but we'll see what happens. Hey, look, four more divisions that can be spent somewhere. Hmm. Hey, look, two more divisions over here. Uh, throw them onto this line. Markin Popov. Cool. Oh, four more over here. Nice, we almost have five full armies. Well, we need to see one more full army in Asia. That'd be great. We can move industry to the Urals. We have fighter veteran initiative. We can develop an oil concern or do experimental rockets. It's 1941. So, doing aviation stuff right now probably wouldn't be worth it. Naval reduction isn't worth it right now. So, probably oil, in all honesty, is probably the best thing to do. Get a little more oil, more industrial push, and to get eventually more building slots, and a bonus for industry. Love it. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. Cool, you guys. Uh, actually, you four join them. You two come over to this guy. Have a great time. Get a, like a smoke or something. Get some cigarettes or something. I don't know. I don't know what you Soviet boys do. Me and the boy is going to go smoking. Is that allowed to say on YouTube? I'm not sure. I don't care. Uh, let's see. You guys come this way. You can help attack. Maybe you'll win. Maybe you won't. Maybe they'll just add more divisions over here. If we don't win. Crud. Oh well. No real loss. Just a few lives. That's all. Just a few lives lost. That's all. No, no worries. Just in the, in the long run. That's not bad. Not bad whatsoever. Cool, you guys do this. Uh, we actually made sure we put a fort here. Level 4 forts, that's not bad. Swalski does have level something forts, level 4 forts as well, but we're attacking, which isn't great. Not bad either. They have six divisions defending. They're pretty kind of entrenched. And Chile wants a non-aggression pact. Sure. Push them out. That's great. And since we're attacking them, they're attacking us again. And I'm loving green. I love green. If my country wasn't red, I would want to be a red country. Oh. If my country wasn't red, I would want to be a green country. It looks like the British, or at least the Allies, are doing well against dictatorial Sun Kiang. Oh, oh. So these are like the Chinese Muslims in today's world that are getting put in concentration camp. I said the double C word this episode. Oof. Yeah. Eh, um, whatever. <clears throat> so these are the Uyghurs or Uyghurs or something. I don't know. Something like that. What are you attacking? I don't remember to tell you to attack. Maybe they attacked us. Maybe we need to attack them back. Maybe we need to teach them a lesson. Three divisions. Infantry expert, thank you. Take one more over here as well. Very good. Very, very good. Spain is holding strong. Holding strong, actually. For now, at least. For now. Just can't wait to see the, the post-war map. It'll be very interesting to see what happens. Uh, let's see, actually, relocate industry from Moscow. So, for 15 days, we move a total of 8 factories from Moscow, and we just move them over to somewhere else. I'm actually thinking about doing that, because Moscow has pretty good infrastructure, Or so if we wanted to build up even more factories, you might be able to just build them a little faster, because they're in Moscow instead of Zlatost or Magnitogorsk. Magnitogorsk. Hmm. Russian. Great language. Leningrad, same thing. Leningrad probably has pretty good infrastructure. Seven's not bad. Moscow is pretty good, and Stalingrad has ten. Pretty good all around. Oh, yeah, Germany. You keep attacking me, man. You keep wasting your German lives. Oh, look, look, look like the Allies invaded, and... Is this my territory? 
When did I get a claim on Bessarabia? I don't remember that. Cool, though. Love it. Yeah, guys, keep attacking me. Um, that's totally gonna work in your advantage. Yeah, just keep, just keep on it, guys. Keep on it. You, you don't exploit the situation to our advantage. Sure, yeah, totally don't do that. One more division? Sure, throw them onto the brig. And do we have more in Asia? No, we don't. Cool. 78, awesome. Slowly, slowly take over Prussia. Oh, let's see here. 4 plus 5 plus 1 is 10. I can do basic math. Oh, da -da -dum, da -dum. Five divisions. It looks like Germany, or at least the Axis, is fighting too many fronts at once. The Netherlands is here. Uh, they're not fighting the Germans yet. They're part of the Allies. They're a little bit communist, kind of like that. Our factories are doing okay. We could maybe use a few more factories, perhaps. Yeah, Moscow is here. Oh, yeah. See, we want to build more factories over there. Infrastructure. Hmm. I don't know. How about rubber instead? Old song that's playing. Wow. Nice. Very good. Very good. German losses. Not really good. They're losing quite a few to Republican Spain as well. Very nice. Very nice. What is like 10 divisions or 11 divisions attacking 3? Okay, 11 divisions. Not bad. Uh, if you guys attack that way, that means these guys can't get supplies this way. Actually, you know what? We need to help attack down here. Is this a little swamp? It might be a swampy area. Yep, it's a marsh. Trying to attack marshes is pretty difficult. Pretty darn difficult. Go ahead and throw you back in the fray. I want the marsh because when they attack us through the marsh, it isn't going to be very good for them. Looks like the Germans are still attacking. Greece is holding up very well. Very, very well. And they're attacking us once again. And we took the marsh. Nice. Very good. Very, very good. And we have a slight deficit of infantry equipment. Artillery is doing very well, but I'm going to keep building that up for a while because, well, when you switch over from 10 infantry battalions to 7 infantry battalions with 2 pieces of artillery, or 2 artillery battalions later on, we're going to need a crap ton of artillery. Good. Kirill Mertzk. Kof. A little bit injured. Mikhail. Ah, uh, he's doing all right. A ground attack. Veteran initiative. Nice. He's got a total of 158 divisions under him. Does anyone need upgrades? Oh, adaptable. Hell yeah. Always, I always do adaptable. Just, in my opinion, terrain penalty reduction is pretty good if you get into bad terrain. Uh, nothing here. And then a little something here. Great. Throw him onto here. We got a little bit more research to do, it looks like. With medium bomber strategic bombing. Don't even use those. Don't even use strategic bombing. At least at the moment. Uh, let's see, for you guys, help out over here, and then... Ah, oh, 200 heavy fighters. I love it. Oh, and Iceland joined the Axis because the UK declared war on them. Okay, then. Okay, then. Now we've seen it all. Split them up. Uh, send one to here, and send another one to... Oh, I don't know. Here, sure, why not? Cool. Another division. I honestly probably won't need as many divisions now. 24. We've made up the losses that we had before, so I'm not really worried about it too much. 20. Yeah, get rid of that. Get us down to... Let's get down to 12. There we go. Uh, Honduras wants a non-aggression pact. Uh, sure, I guess. Why not? Oh, the Romanians or people from Romania really don't want us here. I understand. Oh, but they're not doing very well. Oh, my goodness. Superior firepower land auction. Just so good. And we got even more recovery rate and organization and tactical withdrawal. Yes. Daddy. Wow, that's a lot of army XP. Nice. Romania, what are your casualties like right now? Only a quarter of a million Romanians have died, but they don't really want to increase their conscription levels. Civil unrest. Low stability. Alright, well, I'm, I can dig that. Nice, very nice. These guys might be lacking strength or equipment or something of that kind. You come over here, maybe take the airbase, and if you can do that, that'd be great. Instead of you moving up there, you come this way. I mean, we are attacking literally with only guns and support artillery, so... 
any attacks that we can do and be successful at it, hopefully we'll do great. Slovakia is over here. Ace pilot promoted. Very nice, my friends. Very nice. Greece is still holding out. Republic of Spain is still holding out for now. But we'll see how far Germany can go with all the death that they're causing. Yeah, not a lot of manpower, Germany. Not a lot. Italy? How are you doing? Mm, they're okay. Half a million. Hungary has a little bit left. Slovakia, some manpower. Of course, Romania has none. Bulgaria has almost none. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Vichy France has a little bit as well. Not a lot. Not a lot. Which is all very heartwarming after we also lost our own soldiers. But enough talking about that. We're develop we're researching for oil. Developing more and more oil concerns. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Where's a good place to attack? I want to attack here, but there's it's just too strong. Attacking here might be okay. Hmm. You really shouldn't be over here. Take half of you guys help attack. Take half of you guys help attack as well. Three divisions holding out. Who has a light tank division from Italy here as well. We develop an oil concern. And we've got... Exp I love expendable labor. Ah, uh, nothing says the Russian SFSR like expendable labor. Open up those gulags, kids. It's time to get cracking. Alright, anyways. Uh, factory output plus 15% is pretty broken. Reliability for tanks is pretty good. Construction speed... Wow. 5% more construction speed on top of 15%? That's really awesome. Support rocketry, motorized rocket artillery... Eh, this stuff is okay. Not bad. I mean, it's good to have, but eh. Division speed is okay. Super soldiers? Well, we give them drugs to be super. And then... Research speed. Well, I'm probably gonna go with this. Tact practical engineering for more construction speed and resource efficiency gain. Because if you can't beat them using super soldiers, just keep building more soldiers until they beat them. Just keep building, 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 building. Wow, 32 things I can do here? Holy smokes. Oh, Baltic, Socialist, whatever. Uh, relocate industry. I mean, eh. It's 1941, soon to be 1942. Uh, maybe I should focus more, maybe not on the military as much, but maybe planes? Air safety, sounds good. Air all-weather expert. Ground support, ooh, I like ground support. Air experience. Don't need to... We'll, we'll keep developing our navy, but we can wait on that. Planes, kind of the same thing. Material designer for guns actually might be a good thing to do, since we'll get two things we have to research next year. What's over here? Legal status of women? Consumer goods. Traditional roles. I'll probably go with traditional roles. It costs a little bit more manpower, or political power, I mean, but... Consumer goods goes down by 5%. Lessons of history. Brinkmanship. Justify war gold time goes down. Send volunteers tension limit. We'll probably go with either ideological struggle or brinkmanship. Probably ideological struggle eventually. So, since we're in the middle of a war and our air is doing... Eh. Or let's get ground support. More air superiority. Look at all that army XP. My goodness. That's a lot. That's a lot of XP. Well, yeah, it looks like the Germans are really kind of suffering here. In terms of maintaining adequate manpower and supply on their front, so yeah, let's keep doing that. And who is attacking us? It's the, it's the Germans. Guys, guys. You have no manpower, but just keep attacking me, because it's fun, right? Yeah. Yeah, Germans. Oh, I mean, they are pushing hard against Republican Spain. They probably actually are going to capitulate Republican Spain, since they kind of split them in half. But that's costing the Germans quite a few, quite a few boys. Republican Spain's lost quite a few as well, so. Oh, well, they... Oh, they're going... Peru, what the heck? Oh, hello, USA! You're already intervening into South American affairs? Ah! You're a little early on that, aren't you? But that's okay. Do what you want, USA, until I take you out. I mean, liberate your workers. Exactly. Ah, uh, you guys attack. You guys give them a little bit more of that lo lovely Soviet push. Take out you guys. Help take out two divisions. You guys... Let me attack right here. Because why not? Because we're worth it. That's right. Nice. Not bad. Not bad. Guns are doing well. Artillery's not doing bad either. Ba -da -da -dum. 
All right, let's see. I really want to attack Romania, but there's really nowhere good to attack, and I really kind of want to get some tanks going. But they'll be here soon enough. Hmm. Yeah, attacking with these guys is okay. It's not great. Soft attack isn't bad, but... They're... Our current infantry divisions are good on defense, but attacking, not so much. If we swapped out or made them regular 7-2 infantry divisions, their defense goes down, but they do quite a bit more soft attack damage. Which is kind of what I want. Ooh. Six more divisions. Uh, do that. I'm going to add you here. And this will be probably the last guy I actually make. Um... Six divisions at a time now. Thank you very much. Thank you for playing. And cool. I'll put him on the line soon enough. You, you come over here. Just help hold the line for now. Very nice. Yeah, not bad. With spirit firepower, this isn't too bad. Trying to play as a Soviet Union against the Germans using mass assault doctrine can be a little bit more challenging. My god, there's so many mines here. But... It's, it's always try, fun to try different things. Oh, and the Italians have broken through. And they're going to continue trying to break through my lines. Okay, well, I'm glad I caught that. Italians. Italians. Why? Italo Balbo. Heinz Guderian. Why are you doing this? Why? Push him back out. No, still only 1941. You guys push these guys this way. You guys hold. Take half. Come down here. Take half. And come down here as well. What are the Italian losses? 1.63, no longer get the effects of industrial push. Naval strike torpedo attacks is done. Uh, we can do the next one, even though we don't have 100 air XP, but we're pretty close. Oh man, this construction stuff is good. Do we need more rubber? Oh, we need so a little bit more rubber, a little more aluminum. Uh, let's see. A little more radar sounds like a good idea. Get a little bit more rubber. And then... Hmm... Keep developing infrastructure, I suppose. Actually, no. Give me a a lot of naval dockyards, because we're going to have to build up quite a big navy if we want to export communism around the world. Isonis, well, that didn't last too long. Isonis already capitulated. Great. And we have our two tank divisions. Thank the Lord. We actually can use some tanks here. Mm, anyone who's a tank general that isn't garbage? I'm looking at Alexander, but he's politically connected. He's politically connected as well. Uh, Ivan? Good luck. Do you have anyone up here? Oh, oh, Gregory. You're politically connected too, god dang it. And an old guard. You're worthless. Nikander. Learn how to do this. Alright, so hopefully we won't lose our divisions this time. I'm going to put them in Prussia. Because nothing says... Uh, Soviet invasions like... Taking Kaliningrad. I don't think I'm actually going to form a regular post World War II Soviet border. I don't really see the benefit of having Königsberg. God dang it, how is this so bad? Yeah, do that. So I probably won't get Königsberg. I really don't care. Uh, if anything, I might just make a divided Germany with like North Germany and then have like a South Germany with Austria, perhaps. A divided Germany sounds like a fun idea. But. Then again, when the war ends, we're probably going to have some sort of Bucharest pack or something, a Warsaw pack, something. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I really don't know yet. Hmm. Send ship reports. We got some XP we could use, but not really focusing on that. Uh, no one's really. Well, never mind. Someone is attacking us, which is fine. We got quite a few divisions down there. Nice, Germany. Keep racking up those casualties. Germany probably can't sustain this forever, can they? No, they can't. But it looks like they're on service... Oh! Service by requirement already hurts you pretty... Not well. 10% recruitable population. Of course, that's factory output as well as dockyard output. Quite a bit more training time and less construction speed. Oh, and they're attacking us up here now. So we've got some heavy tanks. These are some pretty heavy hitters. Only 20 combat width, which kind of sucks. They should have made them 40 combat width. And yeah. I should have made them 40 combat width, to be honest. I'm going to start off easy with these tanks. So, what we're going to do, we're going to attack this way. And with five infantry guys, divisions attacking this way as well. We don't have air superiority, but they cannot pierce us just yet. So, using heavy tanks right now seems to be okay. Uh, you know what? I don't want 
20 combat width heavy tank divisions. When this battle is over, I'm going to make them 40 combat width, which is going to drastically kill off how strong this division will be for a while. It's good. We actually won with the tanks. Soviet armor has proven to be effective. We're liking what we see. And go ahead and throw some more heavy tanks in there because I hate supply. I hate it so much. Nothing but heavy tanks. I love, love, love it. Before anything else happens. Nice. 40 combat width. Ah, two more divisions over here in Asia. Go ahead and add them over here. Put them under some new guy, under new management. Make room for him. Good. Oh, we've got someone down here too. Uh, yeah, come on down here. Small arms firepower for a little bit more soft attack. And then we'll get a little bit more hard attack as well. Oh, looks like they put a lot of guys down here. Oh, just, yeah, do all that. If you can. 47%. Uh, we're probably not going to win that battle, but whatever. No real big, no real biggie. Go ahead and join the line. Oh, it looks like I got navally invaded. Well then, looks like I'm going to have to use some backup boys for me right here. And I, of course, I will end episode fairly soon. I hate it when we get navally invaded, but it looks like they didn't take a port, so... Something tells me we'll probably be okay. Probably. Republican Spain is suff slowly losing, but they're definitely making the Axis suffer, which we always like to see. Uh, six divisions, eh... Oh, we might not be able to win here. But we're coming back to reinforce the area. Not bad, not bad. You know what? We didn't even show up here, and we're doing a great job. Don't you love having allies? Yeah, something tells me we're going to win here regardless. And some bitchy French soldiers will perish. Cool. You didn't have to be here. Should not have moved you. Oh, this is... A little annoying, that's fine, and that's pretty much where we're going to leave it here for today. It is literally January 1st, 1st, 1942. Uh, we've definitely stopped most of the Axis assaults, while Republican Spain is slowly dying because of the strength of the Axis. We have actually managed to take a tiny portion of Prussia, while causing a lot of casualties for the Germans, in which we've delivered over half of all dead Germans. Wow, our ally is about to capitulate. Regardless, we've suffered a little more than half a million casualties. But overall, I'm thinking we're doing pretty well. And regardless of that, next beginning of the next episode, we will try and go ahead and coup the United States. We'll definitely see what happens. If it fails, so be it. But we have to do something about the United States before they become too powerful. Regardless, thank you very much for watching, guys. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you tomorrow as we continue to push slowly into Axis-held Europe. Thanks for watching.